CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us at the table to discuss. And boy, Ricky, the hair and makeup room was on fire this morning. <laughs> they were. Yes, we were all talking about this, thinking she seems to be blaming Subway in this particular case. Does she have a case? Well, she doesn't have a case for what she'd like to have a case for. You know, just because there is a wrong does not mean there is a remedy. Do they have in, a duty to tell her anything if what no. you're saying is true? No. In fact, if Subway did learn anything, and remember, these are her allegations. Subway says it knew nothing. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, in under her allegations, let's assume she could prove them all. Mm -hmm. That they knew 2004, 2008, 2011. They don't owe her a duty to report to her. She's saying they owed a duty to people like children to yeah. report to the police. The problem is Subway is going to deny. Subway is going to say they knew nothing. And ultimately, if there is a correct plaintiff here, it's one of the victims who's Rick, out there. Ricky, what about Subway's use of her likeness in the commercial? Does, does, does that give her any... Yes, uh, I think that that is a viable claim if, in fact, they did not have her consent. By the way, Indiana has the strongest law on this particular tort, this particular wrong, mm -hmm. so she's in good shape there. So the ultimate question may be, what is Subway going to right, do? Right, right, because they're saying uh, it didn't happen, what she's claiming. So does Subway deny, 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 mm -hmm. go forward in that way and be a scorched earth policy, or does Subway say, wait a minute, we've had bad publicity, maybe we ought to give her a little money? Ricky Clayman, mm. thanks, Ricky.